It's so weird. Every all the other guys I sat with, like Garrett, Steven, like it's kind of like Parker and Bubby. It's like I feel like I didn't get the time that I wanted. Yeah. Like because we came here and we're just like. And it got cut short. <laughs> it and got it, cut short, yeah, because of the rain and it just it makes perfect sense. But like. I kind of want to know your thoughts. Well, first, let me go ahead and welcome you all to Purcell. Thank you for showing up. We got Grant, Grant Horvat here. Um, one of the newest, I say newest members, good, good. You've been around for a while, but for yeah. me. For you, good, good, yeah. For yeah, sure. <laughs> you're, well, you're new to me. Yeah, um, the last guy in. Yeah, but uh, tell, like, we just spent, we wrapped up, uh, this is your first time at Purcell Farms. Yeah. Uh, First good good week here. Right. Um, what, like from hearing all the guys and stuff that they were talking about, probably the hype, maybe even what you see in the videos before you ever showed up. Like, what what was your, I don't know, what was your expectation coming here for the first time? Probably hearing about it, seeing it, and then now being able to like come and experience it. Well, yeah. That I mean, back in the day, I was a fan. At one point, I was a fan. I was watching all the Garrett Clark videos, all the GM videos with Matt, Steve, and everyone. Yeah. So I was seeing all the holes, and just to come out in person and and see everything out here was really cool. Um, yeah, it just it almost felt like I was like living, like it was live. I don't know what. The, it's a weird feeling. It's like you're uh, in a simulation. Right, right. It's like <laughs> you, you watch it, you watch it on video, and then you come out here. Yeah. And I will say, like, it blew me. The course was fantastic, and it was really, it was just really fun to, to play here. I really liked the. The lot. greens were rolling harder. I'll tell you that much. Mm -hmm. Bobby was like, "Look, that course is super hard. I can guarantee you, when it's super hot. Obviously, I told you the bent grass. You're a Bermuda guy. Yeah. You, I mean, born. In oh Bermuda. yeah, all Bermuda. Oh, Bermuda. Yeah. So, I dude, I couldn't like Bobby today when he sat there. He's like, "That's up." Mm -hmm. That's right. Bobby, it's a mountain. In front yeah, of me. right. Like that's how I feel on Bermuda. But like most of the time, that experience is like, I mean, it it plays a lot easier. The greens are sticky. Like the what I would have been telling you, way different than today because I even got thrown off of right. like, the lines and reads. But I think it's today we found it out. Right. There's some chemistry here. Some early kindling. Yeah. Hey, I, I, I'll say. <laughs> Uh, without giving away any spoilers, I played. I played solid. I played did. solid this whole entire good good week. It wasn't just one day. Um, I played solid the whole week, and I've kind of continued that from Florida into Purcell. But yeah, just coming here and being able. To, I don't know. I love the back greens. Yeah, I, I putted. I felt like I putted good. I didn't putt great. I never really put out of my mind. I mean, I have in the past, but like the last eight months of my life, I haven't putted amazing. Yeah. So, I mean. I, I just yeah I, I like the greens I, I can't complain I love the bent grass it was yeah. fun I'd it's, rather put on bent grass than Bermuda well, dude I'm the same it, they roll true and that's what they what do. you see is what you get it's not right. fun to like look at something like, oh, I'm gonna read the green it's going this way and I'm used to that it's kind of like second nature growing up in Florida but uh, I mean the the bent grass it's like the short putts are what it, to me are, are so much easier on on bent grass because Bermuda with the grain those short putts get a little they get tricky. Um, if you got into the grain and stuff, it can snap. But Bermuda, yeah. it, it usually roll. I mean, not Bermuda, bent. It usually rolls pretty good, and you can make those three, four, three, four footers all the time. Yeah. No. I mean, it's it's always a fun experience. Like, I mean, dude, I played it. I was talking to Garrett, and it may have been Max or Colin, but I was like, I, I think I don't know if I played this course a thousand times. It got built in two thousand one, mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if it like if I play it that many times, but it feels. Like I said, like the back of my hand. I could right. walk blindfolded and just know where everything is. And it's a fun feeling. But it's also fun to be able to take a guy. Like, you're, like, you're a, you would, you would, I feel like you thrive on, like, players' courses. To be like, here's a tough, tight little course. Yeah. You need, like, you've got the game that's beautiful. I mean, I, personally, I think you've got the most beautiful swing. Like, yeah, I appreciate that. Garrett's got, or not Garrett, Micah's got a beautiful swing. I think in its own, it's like, blonde or brunette like they're both beautiful just different and i think that y'all both like carry that but i loved watching your like Appreciate your swings that. like yeah. it's really cool um uh -huh. what was what was something for you outside of golf like remove the whole golf because even get to know a little bit of your story even from hearing from other people because i don't think we got to dive too deep yet 
um, with the time that we spent here, but I heard that your your dad was a teaching pro. Yes, um, yes. And so you've got that background of watching, just, I mean, even listening to how he talks to people and you being able to take and learn how to communicate with your love of the game and pass that on to other people. Like, remove golf completely. Like, what was, what was the one thing that, you, like, you coming here were wanting to experience outside of just golf alone? Yeah, um... I mean, I'll just say like right now, our lives are so fast paced. Like everything's moving at 100 miles per hour. Yeah. There's something about coming out to this area. It almost feels like everything's slower. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's not, maybe it's the, the country feel, the woods. I don't know what it is. But when you come out here, it, it just feels like everything's a little bit slower. Um, when we're in Texas, when we're moving constantly, it, it's just life is moving like this. And, you know, I just felt like this whole week, it's just been really relaxed. It's like almost like an escape. It was, it was like a vacation. Yeah. Not, I mean, every week's a vacation. I, I mean, I love yeah. what I do. Like, good, good is amazing. Um, but this was just another level. It was just, it was easy. We kind of just woke up, did our thing. And the range is right there. We just go hit balls. Like, it was very, like, it was just set up great. And, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I really appreciate you guys. Yeah. I really appreciate you guys having us out here. It's awesome. Dude, thank Garrett and all those guys. They can join yeah. the crew. And then you got out here. You became a fan, then became a player. You know yeah, what I'm saying? That's, now a that's contributor. Like, yeah. It is. Why, how, so tell me real quick how you how you even began that process. Because you think about it, like after a solid, I mean, in my head, I think. I mean, I'm way older, but you put out a solid content week like that a couple years ago. And it kind of like solidifies like the crew. And then you're like, oh, man, in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, they got something solid like going how do you kind of go like you need an extra or y'all can I like like how did that so no yeah that didn't really happen like that exactly um it really I'll say I mean that's probably like the first time on camera that I've really told the story um I've never been very public about how I got in but basically I, it was all Garrett um mm -hmm. me and Garrett were friends I met Garrett at PBA my college um, yeah I met him there, and that's when he was only had like 100,000, 150,000 followers. It was right after the Bro 5 thing um, happened. It's right when I met Garrett. I know he's in a, I mean, he's not in the greatest mindset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I met him at that time, probably two and a half years ago. So it, it's been, yeah, I mean, I've known Garrett for a good bit. Um, and we recently, I mean, we really got close probably about a year ago, year and a half ago. And we played a lot of Call of Duty, a lot of Xbox together. But yeah, he, he asked me, um, I had about three months left of college and Garrett asked me if I wanted to go out and do GM golf with him in Texas. Um, Michael was kind of going off and doing his own thing with his personal channel. Yeah. And he wanted me um, to do GM golf together. So we kind of did GM golf together. That's our thing right now. Um, we travel for that GM golf. And then good, good just kind of happened like organically. I just... I, my first good, good week ever happened because Garrett was like, why don't you just come along for fun? I mean, that, that's, that's how it started. It was yeah. in Vegas. Um, we stayed at the Mandala and we played at Valley High. That was like my first course I ever played on a good, good video. And yeah, it was like, I was never like officially like, it just happened just slowly. I just was there. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, why don't you come? Kyle, I think just left. He didn't want to do it. They had five guys. I yeah. came in kind of. It just worked really good, and we got six guys right now, and I just know one thing. I don't think that's ever going to change uh, yeah. for the rest of Good Good. I think we're pretty locked in, uh, just speaking from what I've heard and everything. But, yeah, I think we're pretty locked right now, and it feels great. But, yeah, it never like was like – I never just came out to be a part of Good Good. Yeah. That happened, like, real slow. Like, you, you I, I mean, if I was Matt, Garrett, and Steve, I wouldn't want – some guy coming in like I don't care who he is like yeah it, it's just it's one thing it's just I feel so grateful that they gave me a chance and that I mean it was really all started with Garrett I knew Garrett really well we clicked yeah we did really good on camera together so it just happened naturally I feel like a lot of it like you said it's got to do with trust like yeah like you like you were uh, I mean where you're at now it's it's like anything else when someone comes to take something from you it's like you've got more to lose in this position than oh, yeah. say like oh anyone. Um, Circle's small. Yeah. Circle's small. And it has to. Like even with our family, like it's nothing new. I think people can get mad when they're like, 
why don't you give me more of you when I ask for it? It's like, oh yeah, I mean, it's so I, hard. Yeah, it, it's tough, and it's kind of, it's, and it's not just any individual. I think there's a lot of people that don't get that from people in your space. Um, yeah, or let's just say people of influence. It doesn't matter if it's social media or you own Amazon. Like, right. I really think it's when you have something to lose, you don't know people's motive. And so when you've got like the bro five thing that happened and then pretty much the guys had come here and then again, you met Garrett like around that time where he was going through a lot. And yeah. Then you like, you never took it. You just showed up on Call of Duty. You just showed up on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, it was like, that's, it's, yeah, it's, I will say that's the one thing that Garrett and I, the, the thing that Garrett, with Garrett and I that happened the best is we formed a friendship before business. So it was more, uh, we were friends before it all happened. Uh, mm -hmm. Like, you know, we were not, I didn't just come to Garrett and be like, let's do YouTube. Yeah. Cause you know, like Garrett's, whoever it is, like if I'm in that position, somebody just comes up, let's do YouTube together. Yeah. Like it's not, or it's not like a natural, it, the only way like anything like this happens, I feel is all natural. Yeah. The way Good Girl was created was super natural. Like. It's just a, I mean, it's a godsend thing. It's, it's amazing. And yeah, I just, I just, I'm happy I was able to be friends with Garrett for a long time, even before any of this happened. We were just, yeah, never really wanted to do anything with him. Just like being on the YouTube videos when, I mean, he'd asked me to be on a YouTube video and I would be like, best day of my life. Yeah, like, I could sure. be on GM Golf. I thought it was a, I mean, it still is. But at the yeah. time I was like, you know, I was starstruck. I was ready to go. Mm -hmm. Loving to be on camera, but it's, it's crazy how times have changed. That's wild. So I, I know that you have, because you're what? You're 23? 23, yes. Okay, I always get, I always get so confused. I said Garrett said he's 21. It's just like, yeah. I keep thinking he's older. Yeah, he yeah. He actually is. Um, like, you've, you've got a girlfriend, and this yeah. is just more of like being older. So, like, how have you learned? Like, because you have to grow up. Like, right. You're paying taxes, you're paying insurance. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got all these things you're having to take care of. Well, actually, I get off my parents' insurance until I was 26, and it was freaking awesome. So but, yeah, I'm gonna stay on my parents. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say stay on it for a while. What is like? What's the one thing that you've had to learn about balance with the things that you care about in your life? Oh like, yeah. And now something oh, yeah. you're passionate about golf, but like, how have you learned balance for the things that, like you said, you care about your girlfriend or yeah. maybe other little things that you want to protect while in pursuit of something you love? Right. Um, yeah, I will say that was, I mean, it's just been, it's been hard, not hard, but it's been a challenge, let's say. It's been a challenge trying to balance stuff. Um, Sadie, my girlfriend right now, she came into my life, I mean, two months pretty much since I, well, right when I moved out to Texas, she kind of came into my life around mm -hmm. that time period. And that's when PBA? What? You want me to PBA? No, we did not. We actually met online kind of okay tiktok she added me she saw a video that i did and liked it yeah and i was doing a golf tutorial <laughs> thing Sparks fly. yeah yeah the i was doing, I was doing a golf tutorial <laughs> on uh, tiktok and she loved it so she like messaged me and i messaged her back it was kind of not like some crazy little love story you meet her in this you yeah, know, it's those, not crazy now yeah <laughs> but no it's just been it's been really like it's as if life couldn't get better like back then and then when she came in it's like it even got that much better, but it's hard to balance both. So it was already so good. Like I was traveling for good, good. I'm having the best time ever. And she comes in and now I have to balance her and like the career of my dreams. Yeah. So it's like woman of my dreams, career of my dreams. And I mean, she's just been the best, super supportive. Doesn't just there for like, just there for everything. Doesn't really, I mean, we just, we get, we get along so good that there's nothing really to talk about. It's just time. That's the only thing. I mean, you got to go away for a week on Google week. Yep. A week doesn't seem a lot, but it does. It's crazy. Like you go away for that week and then you come back and you feel like you barely know each other. It's just like a weird thing. Like you forget what she even looks like. Yeah. You see her after a week and it's yeah. like, Oh, it's only a week, but you know, that week is a long time. And then sometimes I, me and Garrett travel together. So I go good, good. Then GM. Woo. And then, I mean, so I'm gone. I can be gone two weeks out of the month. So it's just time. I mean, time's one thing in this life that you can't get back. So it's that's, valuable. yeah, that's my one thing. I know I always tell her, um, as we get older, as things progress, I think I'll have more of it. But yeah. right now it's time to grind. I feel like right now is our prime. We're on the come up. Everything's going well. 
we got to utilize it. Yeah. But then I feel like as you get older, you can settle down a little more, be more picky once brands want to come to you and 100%. stuff like that. Yeah. You know, that's that's way in the future. I don't really, I can't really speak on that, but yeah. So. Do you, did you ever feel this is more of a family business question? My brother and I are super passionate, caught on to my dad's vision and dream with what he's built out here. He's in the fertilizer business, built the course as a marketing tool. Um, we sold the fertilizer business and then built what is now for cell farms around the marketing tool within the ag space. So crazy story, but we've been able to catch the vision of what my dad did. I don't think I ever would have done fertilizer. But what he's doing now, like I'm super passionate about. Did you ever feel like, oh, I have to do golf because my dad was a teacher, or did you fall in love yeah. with what he did and being around him all the time? You're kind of like, man, like this is sweet. I'd love to do this for a living. Yeah, that's a that's a really good question. Um, I'll say everything good, Bubby. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I'll say. I'll say that my dad, my dad never forced me to play golf. Um, I actually got into golf kind of late. So I got into golf when I was probably 14 years old. So I've been playing for about 10 years, I mean, nine years, give or take. I got in super late though. Like my dad, I remember when I first started to really get into golf, a lot of his lessons were already shooting in like the 70s. He's like, you're way behind. Like he yeah. would straight up tell me, you're behind, you're good. you got a lot of work to do. You're gonna have to work twice as hard as they are if you ever wanna get into college or play competitive golf he would tell me that all the time and I did I worked really hard on my game for a lot of years I mean I would go out there all the time beat range balls I mean hours like I was practicing six seven hours a day yeah for sure in the summers playing every single night with my dad um, but he was there from the beginning gave me the fundamentals but he never I'll say that he never forced me never really pressured me it, he was always there if I wanted to play golf but I didn't even like golf I was into basketball I thought golf was pretty boring. Um, were you two? Was I? Were you two? In but, the position was. Um, I I played I played all around. I actually would play down low, and I I loved to shoot threes. That was one of my favorite. I was always usually I didn't want to get I didn't I see I wasn't super aggressive. I never wanted to get, you know, in and get dirty like Bubby over there. Hey Bubby, huh. he was the guy that shot the sniper in Call of Duty. Go yeah. get it hot up in the rocks and just. Psh, psh, psh. Yeah, yeah. You guys, you guys go. <laughs> yeah, just camp y'all go down there. Yeah. Camp no, yeah. I, I let them go die for the ball wide watch. I say, go get it, go get it. <laughs> yeah, good job. Yeah, and I clap. But no, that's it. Basketball, you got to really have like that, that will to win, that fire in you. Yeah. And you know, I've never really had that in my life in general. Yeah. Whether it's golf or anything, I'm not super fiery. So yeah, what I'm doing right now is exactly. I mean, God. I get it all, I mean, it's just amazing how it's worked out, and it's just, I can't believe it, because I couldn't think of anything better. Yeah. I, mean, I couldn't think of anything better. Oh, frick, I couldn't either. I like, mean, what I'm, am I? I'm I was golf, really. I'm teaching, and I love, that's one thing I'll say right now, my dad was a teacher, Good Good Labs was a way of, like, really, I mean, the guys have made that almost like my channel, mm -hmm. and I love doing everything with the guys, but it was, like, the main idea behind Good Good Labs was a teaching platform to get our viewers a little bit better at golf, people get into golf, and I was going to give them all the fundamentals, because i that's one thing, I do know a lot about the golf swing, I've studied it a lot, uh, my dad was great, he gave me a lot of, well, I mean, everything that I know is pretty much from him, mm -hmm. and the hours I spent on the internet, I used to look at golf swings for hours a day, so a lot of terminology, a lot of everything, but I do, I'm really confident, that's one thing. I'll say if I can talk, if I can get up in front of people and talk, I, I want to talk about the golf swing, nothing else, because yeah. I can I can talk pretty smooth with that. If I got to talk about it on the spot about something else, it's tough. But <laughs> the golf swing, I can roll pretty easy. So I'm assuming that's how you got the girlfriend. You just talked about the golf swing. Yeah, oh, she loved it. She was like, "Oh my gosh, you're getting so shallow. Your golf swing's so smooth." <laughs> no, that's not. She, she, I don't think she knew too much about golf. <laughs> but I'm funny. giving her lessons. I am. I'm getting, she's getting into it. It's one thing. She, she's taking it serious. She's real serious. It's funny. When she gets over the ball, she tries really hard, and she takes, she she wants to play. I think it's something we can do together. So yeah, no, that's cool. So I'll I'll kind of ask a, a couple more questions in close. Um, what like again? I think I think when people when people get put on a platform and they feel like it's natural for any and everybody, but 
you get to a position you don't feel like you can fully be yourself because I think there's a place like you protect and yeah. you show them something yeah, but then like, sure. they're like I'm not going to show this piece of you because I don't know if you're going to be able to uh, handle it with care for me at times it's uh, it can be creative expression at times like so even though people say oh you're super creative you're this like I can give little glimpses but I'm like I'm not going to let you see like what I really want to be creative about like how do you like how would you say like there's something again that like people don't know about you but they think of you they're like oh grant's like like all he he's just a golf teacher like they put an identity on you that's just not you like what would you say like who are you beyond the the the, the four corners of the computer screen and the good good labs when they see grant with gm golf and grant with good good and grant yeah and yeah, good, yeah. Good week. that's a great question um i mean the main thing that i see is like does Grant ever get mad? Like, he looks like he never gets mad. And that's, that's far from it. I don't get mad on the golf course. Because, I, I don't know, my dad really, he, he's like, if you ever threw a golf club, he would take, and he's a golf pro, he said, if you ever threw a golf club, he'd rip me off the course. If I ever threw and did anything, so. I smashed a thing. tennis racket one time at a tennis tournament. And yeah. Then, um, I, yeah, that's, that's how my dad <laughs> is. So. You know, that was actually a good thing, because it just never, I never, I, I was able to, I mean, I'll be mad inside, but I don't show it. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing with, I mean, being on camera all the time, I feel like I'm like five different personalities because I'm good at good labs. When I'm doing good, good labs, I'm serious. We're talking about instructional stuff. We're trying to get like, it's it's like knowledge. We're trying to be focused and stuff. Good, good, I'm acting silly. I'm joking around, I'm cracking jokes. And then like my personal channel, it could be a little different. So they're getting different personalities from me all the time. Mm -hmm. And that, like, to me, like, to the people out there, they're like, what the heck are we getting? Like, who is this guy? Yeah. And, and you know, it, it is tough. That's the one thing that's tough. And just seeing, like, I've never seen Grant get mad, which I like that. I keep that. Like, I keep my composure. But, no, I get I get mad all the time. I mean, I have bad days. Like, yeah. it's just life. Yeah. You does know, it, does that feel taxing to keep up with at times? What? Just the different personalities. Where yeah. It's, like, again, it's not... Like I said, it's, it's not who you are. I think, because I, again, I was a mascot at Auburn and we had talked about that and I did over 700 appearances in two years, but there was an extension of me that I got tired of and people like held onto that as my identity. And then there's there's this like grant that your girlfriend gets to see and your parents get to see. Right. Does it does it sometimes feel taxing to continue to- That's true. Be these guys yeah. who are like, oh, yeah. I just want to be Grant. Right, or right. Good, good labs, Grant, or yeah. GM Grant, or, you know, personal channel Grant. Yeah, I mean, people will probably never see the Grant I am around my girlfriend, or, yeah. or I mean, that's just me, like, goof. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you right now, I'm as goofy as it comes, like, mm -hmm. joking around 24 7. Yeah. That's all I do is laugh and not be serious and yeah. pick. I love that. But, I mean, obviously on camera, I'm not as much as joking around it's more a lot a lot of times it's more serious um, yeah especially with labs like i try and take that serious i really i do put a lot of effort in that i think about those ideas a lot um but then yeah good good i mean yeah it's like that transition like what you're saying it's just there's a lot of different personalities i don't really think of it like that but i'll tell you right now i'm just now i mean we're 10 almost a year into this 10 months maybe into doing youtube full time and I really just now, kind of almost this week, felt like after this week, it felt great, mm -hmm. but I need like, I'm almost a little burnt out. Yeah. And it's almost taken probably nine months, nine, 10 months for me to really feel a burnout where I need to just like be away from the camera a little bit and mm -hmm. take some personal time. Yeah. Cause it's like, I meant, I mean, I got GM, I got four channels. Yeah. So I'm, I'm managing four channels, Ooh. GM golf, good, good labs, uh, my personal and then good, good. So. I don't like, I don't yeah. know how you do it. So it's, it's a lot. I mean, it's just a lot of talking to the camera and I love it, but it's, it's something that like the more practice you get, the better you get. So, um, I mean, I've gotten plenty of it, so I've yeah. been in front of it a lot and it's just been awesome. So what's your, you know, the final question, like what's your biggest takeaway from your first week? Like from showing up to now leaving, what's the one thing, because you're, you're a, a new convert. Right. Essentially, right. like what, what is something you're taking away for yourself and something that you would go out and tell other people about this place now experiencing it for the first time? Um, well, yeah, that, I mean, that's a great question. I'd have to, I got to think about that for a second, man. Um, 
I mean, well, first off, the the hospitality and everything here was amazing. Obviously, you guys let us just crash at your house. That was amazing. Yeah. Um, it was just super smooth. Everything was great. I'll just, I got to say, in general, the southern, just southern hospitality, the way people treat you here at yeah. Purcell Farms is different. Um, just, I don't know, like, whether it's all the waiters or anybody, whether it's people that work in the car farm, the waiters, um, they're just, the hospitality is off the charts. They're, like, super, super friendly. You feel at home. And then for the golf side, for those out there that have never been to Purcell, I feel like they need to come experience it for themselves. Yeah. Uh, the camera can only do so much. The mm -hmm. camera really shows in my, like, if anybody plays courses that we filmed at, the camera shows a different perspective. I will say that. Um, once you actually come out to the course, like, when they gotta, I feel like they gotta come out to Purcell if they really wanna experience it. Obviously, like me. But, yeah. Yeah, I, just, I would just say you gotta come out here and experience it for yourself. It's just something, something special. Yeah, so that, I guess, is that like the piece that you would take for yourself to be like, ah, like whenever I think of Purcell Farms, I'm always going to keep it like right here. Oh yeah. And I mean, I, I mean, I'll say like this might, it's hard to say. I, uh, I mean, it's, it was been a great, like my swing feels good. My game feels good. And this might've been one of the better weeks that I've had in good, good so far, whether it was Florida or this one, mm -hmm. my, it's just like my game feels good. So I'm going to remember, like you naturally remember places that you play better. Like yeah. that's just human nature. Yeah. If you're not playing good golf, you're not, it's not sometimes it can be the best course ever, but if you're not even able to hit it and play, you're not going to really love the course. Like yeah. it's just, it's human nature. So I hit it. I hit the ball good. These last two good, good trips. And this week was really solid. So I'll, I mean, I'll always remember it. Just yeah. Like, no, that's, to do with the golf. that's cool and I, I, I meant to ask you this um a little earlier but this is legit the last question what was your what was your first impression of me and parker as opposed to like because we were on the good good channel or not the good good well yeah. i guess we, well, we were today um or at least one of us felt present this guy not yeah. so much but um what was what was your first impression of us like seeing us from the old videos and coming to Purcell Farms and being able to hang out with us, like what was, what were you gonna expect? With well, I mean, you guys are the same. From what I've seen, I mean, there's you haven't like been on camera where it's like I really can get to know you on camera. It's not like yeah. you guys are vlogging out there, but from the appearances on GM, you guys are the same people on camera, off, and that's that's the best type of people in this world. You know, yeah. you don't want you don't want somebody that's faking it on camera and you meet him and you're like, who's this guy? Like completely different person on camera versus off, I'd say you and Parker are just, I mean, the same exact people, great people. And yeah, it's been great to get to know you guys. Yeah, no, well, obviously we've got a lot more, a lot more exciting things coming ahead to be able to host show back. And now we've got a lot more time to really get something cooking up yeah, in the next year sure. to come and stuff. So it'll be super exciting, but Grant, my guy, thanks for sitting down Heck yeah. late at night, but long full day, Yeah, a good golf. <laughs> And uh, uh, again, like I said, we value your time and uh, thanks for coming hang out at our parents' house. No, thanks for having me. I was in, we're intruders. We were just intruders coming into your guys' house. No, nah, you're officially family, my no, guy. I appreciate that. Welcome you're back. Just, you're on the fireplace, bro. Yeah, yeah, I can feel it, man. My leg's about to burn yeah, off. Yeah, my, my I am this too, fireplace. This yeah, I was about <laughs> to say, this is Leg's hot. about to burn off. But, um, but guys, thanks again for showing up. Uh, Thanks again for having Grant, you know, like I said, for sitting down with us. Um, if you like, subscribe. Yeah, let's see how many likes we can get on this video. Slap yeah. that, that let's get, like Let's button. get more likes than Tig over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's hard to do. No, nah, no, Tig, Tig's gonna. He's a beautiful, beautiful man. man. Tig. He is a beautiful man. They like that ponytail more than anything. <laughs>